Hello everyone, this is Common Ray, and I'm bringing you a quick tutorial on how to improve the speed of your computer for gaming purposes. Um, if you have a, a low-end computer and you want to be able to play better game, better games, and uh, and be able to run that certain game that lags a bit and um, improve its quality, or if you have do have a good enough computer and you just want it to be able to make sure you have even more smoother, smooth gameplay and stuff like that. Then here's an easy way to do it with or without uh, software. First, we're going to do the more simple one is the without. So, all you have to do on the Windows 7 is go down to your bottom left corner, which is basically your start control panel. And then, what you're going to need to go to is system and security. And then, under system, you go view amount of RAM and processor speed. <coughs> Then go to advanced system settings. You check what you have down here. This is where you check all your what you have. Um, anyways, uh, like I said, go to advanced system settings. Um, under in system properties advanced, uh, you go to performance settings, and then here you have uh, the performance settings of what you want. And here's um, what Windows would suggest it's probably the most default setting unless something's happened and these two we will not be going into you don't need to use that um, but anyways um, if you want it for best best appearance you know you can but that's not for, for, for performance or for gaming in this case you just select it to adjust for best performance you simply apply it OK and as you can, uh, as you can see it uh, makes it like this. <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm going to revert it back to normal. Let me just quickly do that. Uh, there we go. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Let me just see if we're. Yep, we're still recording. Cool. Okay. I was just checking quickly to see if the recording is still going because it I don't know if it counts as it or not, but I doubt so. But anyways, um, the next thing that's how you do it with uh, without software. But here's how you do it with software. I have a program called Game Booster 3, very good software. Um, go to um, um, iobit.com forward slash Game Booster. And you just simply click, click the free download button, and it will send you to this page here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, give your game a boost. Uh, you can just do the sign up thing. I don't think I had to do that. Um, but, whatever. But, uh, yeah, you just do whatever you have to do, get the free download. Um, download it, finish the installer, and then I'd suggest getting another program called CCleaner. Just go to paraform.com for slash CCleaner for slash download. Um, you've got three types you've got the CCleaner free, which I suggest in getting. But of course, if you've got money and you've uh, want something a bit more awesome or for specific purposes, then of course, you can get CCleaner Professional. To clean up business edition, but I don't have those edition um, those uh, ones of sea cleaners, and there is well no need to be honest. Um, sea cleaner free does 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 the job perfectly fine. Anyways, so that basically, that basically does it with that. Just close that down, so we won't be needing that again. But I'm just going to show you the props of what's the easiest one to explain? Uh, sea cleaner. We'll go to sea cleaner first. Sea cleaner is very good for um, cleaning cleaning your uh, infantry out, for example, in your rubbish bin, um, deleting certain cookie uh, cookies, um, doing what what all of it suggests. You can edit it out. This is the default settings. What you see right here, I just leave it. There's no real need. But if you want to go into more advanced things, then you can. If you if you do so, then cool. But uh, you know, you can do all kinds of things that would complete, you know, deletes all your Internet Explorer, all your Firefoxes, all your applications, gets rid of them all. Um, you can analyze. And as you can see, I've got 163 files, 9,000 KB, which is about 
uh, nine gigabytes, I think. Uh, and then you just simply run clean out and it will delete it all. And then voila, as you can see, it's deleted. Also, it does your registry for like things that shouldn't be there, or you've deleted a, a certain certain program. Um, then no worries. Uh, or it's left behind on your computer. You simply scan, comes up with it. And then when it's finished to 100%, you simply just click fix, fix selected issues, and voila, it fixes them all. Um, I just did this pretty recently though, um, so it shouldn't be too many. And you just do that simply as that, and you've got your own little um, in the install and install programs kind of thing. Much more sufficient, much more easier to uh, look things up, much more quicker way. So that's pretty handy. You've got your startup, your uh, system restore, and your drive wiper. And of course, you've got your options, but that we won't be needed to go into. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty hand handy for that. It's very, very uh, awesome awesome piece of kit there that really does help clean out your computer a bit for a bit more easier play and also I suggest like I said game boost 3 um, this is the main thing you're going to be needing to be honest um, you can basically start it up and just click boost and it will do it and you will get like huge significant results um, you choose which ones use most of your your CP. You can edit it out. So, for example, these two, I can just click it, and then when I click boost, it will get rid of it. Excuse me. And uh, you won't. It will get end the process, um, um, and then it will make make the uh, computer a lot more quicker in performance performance wise. Um, you also got your diagnostics. Uh, never really use any of this. You got your tweaks, um, and you got your defrag, and of course you got your drivers to update certain drivers and that. Um, but mine are pretty cool, cool at the moment. Um, also, I do suggest another thing, but it's not really necessary. Is a defragmenter, not one that comes with Windows. Um, where is it? I know it's here. Aha, defragler. It's the same, uh, same people that bought you C Cleaner. Um, a lot more, a lot more better. Um, basically, all you do is, is any other defrag. You can either defrag or quick defrag. Analyze it. And you defrag your computer and loses all files over the place. You know, and make sure it has a bit more space or something. Well, not more space. You know, rearranges things in a more 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 better space because when you delete stuff you know it leaves spaces all over the place as, as you can see leaves, like spaces but I haven't done an analyze and I can't be asked to show you that it's pretty easy software to use it's a pretty quick tutorial um, so yeah that's how you basically make your computer a lot more quicker for gaming it certainly works for me um, you definitely see results um, it's made me be able to play a lot more more intensified games um so yeah uh so that's basically about it pretty quick tutorial on how to get your computer on in a quicker form for gaming purposes hope you guys enjoy if you have give it a like um and that's basically it comment ray see you all in the next video guys